This video shows you how to re-lubricate the HLR High Load Rodless Actuator. All Parker Linear Actuators are lubricated before shipment. Still, you must be aware that operating the actuator with improper or insufficient lubrication can cause irreparable damage to its guidance system and result in higher wear, reduced accuracy, higher friction and higher noise level. Furthermore, the expected lifetime may be reduced significantly. The carriage has two lubricating nipples on each side. Please apply grease to the nipples on one side only. Each nipple should be fed with 1.2 grams of grease in total. This should be done in two steps of 0.6 grams each. Please de-energize the actuator and secure it against accidental movements before you start lubrication. We recommend you to use a hand lever lubrication gun with a nozzle attachment type D1A4, according to DIN3405, as appropriate pointed adapter for the funnel type lubricating nipple. We recommend the lubricant mentioned in our instruction manual, Plex BEM34132, made by Kluber. We recommend you to use scales to determine how many grams you get out of one palm stroke, so that you can then apply the adequate number of palm strokes that are required for sufficient lubrication. Now apply the number of palm strokes that result from your findings when using the scales. After lubrication, run the actuator with a speed lower than 50 mm per second. We recommend traveling all along the full stroke length. This ensures an even distribution of the lubricant in the actuator's carriage. In a second step, apply the same number of palm strokes again. Another movement of the actuator over its full stroke length is required after the second lubrication step. Lubrication intervals are influenced by different application specific parameters. In any case, your actuator should be relubricated at least once a year. To find out more about the HLR actuator, visit us on parker.com.